Hey guys, so today I'm going to be filming my May 2013 favorites and I have so many to show you guys. I'm just so excited because this May was such a great May. <laughs> um, I graduated from 8th grade or moved on from 8th grade, which was great and that happened on the 23rd, um, which I am just so excited though. And now we can move on. <laughs> So, anyway, I'm going to start off with a few of the makeup products that I have just been, like, dying over this month. And I have quite a few of those, but I'm just going to show those first. So, one of them is the e.l.f. This is the Tinted Moisturizer. It has SPF 20. And mine is in beige. This is a new tone, like it said new on the box. Um, and it has aloe, cucumber, and vitamins A, C, and E. So this is really great for your skin. I actually have fallen in love with it already. I have used it a few times and it gives like perfect like tint to my skin. It kind of, it matches fairly well especially to my skin during the summer because it darkens up so much. And so I purchased this product just because I heard a bunch of other beauty gurus talking about it here on YouTube and I just you know, wanted to buy it when I was a Target. This was $3, and it's a .88 fluid ounce bottle, um, but this is such a great product. I just love the formula. It's kind of like a moisturizer, like a face facial moisturizer. It's a little bit more liquidy, um, and, you know, it stays on my face. I notice that the tint does not go away um, until I'm ready to take it off. This next product is... A lip product this is like my very first like lipstick that I've purchased like inside of one of these little things um, this is tone 113 113 and this is kind of like a nude color it's basically the color of the bottom and this is a style by Kate and it just looks like this so as you can see, it's kind of like a brownish, like it's almost like your skin tone neutral color. Um, I can swatch it for you here real fast. So there it is. It's just a very like almost natural skin tone pink color. It's just very light and vibrant and I think it's great. Um, you know, my mom helped me pick this out. It kind of, it matches my dress really well. My, it matched my graduation dress really well. It looks a little bit more orange in the camera, but, you know, it's just a really nice neutral tone. It's almost like when I put it on, I have no lips. It's like that neutral to my skin. Um, but it's a really great color. I absolutely love it, and it's great as kind of a base color. And then I'll put another, like, pink color over it like I did today. So it just looks lightly pink instead of, like totally pink. Um, it's just a very natural look, which I absolutely love. And I don't like to wear as much makeup during the summer, so having a neutral color like that is great. Okay, next up is nails. These are Kiss Everlasting Nails. They are, I believe, $6. The length is real short, but I think they made them longer since the last time I purchased these because they were longer on my nails. They come in like their square shape and they have like a little tab on them that you can see right here which helps you kind of guide the nail into its place. So yeah, but I love the use of this. It's great um, because they give you so many extras and these have different sizes. The little tabs have numbers on them to let you know this is the size number you want for this nail, which is great. So yeah. Okay. <laughs> the next product, I bought another Essie Nail Polish. This is in Tarte Deco, um, and it's just this really, really pretty color. I did not happen to swatch it for you guys. They have different sizes. The little tabs have numbers on them to let you know this is the size number you want for this nail, which is great. So, yeah. Okay. <laughs> the next product, I bought another Essie Nail Polish. This is in Tarte Deco, um, and it's just this really, really pretty color. 
I did not happen to swatch it for you guys. And I'm actually in love with this because it's kind of like corally pink. Um, and it's really vibrant. It's a great spring slash summer color. And I can't wait until the summer 2013 colors for this come out because I'm going to purchase each and every one. Let me tell you. My next product, it is Lemon Drop. It is the yellow one. And it really smells good because it's not just like lemon. It's not as strong. It's like a sweet lemon color scent kind of scent. You know, sweet lemon kind of scent. Oh well. So it's really great. The formula, again, is wonderful if you're looking for great chapstick. The next is body products, you know, that type of thing. Um, and the first one I'm going to show you is actually a sunless tan product. It's like a self-tanner, a home tanner. This is a uh, Neutrogena tanning spray. So it's Micro Mist Airbrush Sunless Tan. And I got mine in deep, which is three times darker than your skin tone. Which actually, it's not that bad. I have it on my arms right now. So you can see right here, it's tan, it's not orange, and then my hands are like white, so you can tell that I used it. It's ultra light fine mist and goes on evenly and works at any angle for all over flawless tan with no rub application. Um, so, yeah. Alright, other body products. These are Bath and Body Works um, hand sanitizers again. I just love these. I mean, they always have a deal like get five for five bucks so why wouldn't I buy five I really don't know um anyway though so this one is pink lemonade and I just thought it was really cute for spring and summer so I started using it a lot this one does have some little like glimmery sparkles in it strawberry lemonade um yeah I just thought it was such a fun little like front thing it's got the little lemonade with a lemon in it and it's pink and the scent was really nice because, you know, I don't like to buy hand sanitizers that I don't like the smell of because then I won't use it and it would be a waste of that deal. So that's a great one. Um, and then the next one is pomegranate scented. It's purple like this and it doesn't have, you know, that like great of a cover, but it does smell so good like... It almost smells like ice cream or like sorbet a little bit more, like sorbet ice cream, more than pomegranate. Um, but, you know, sorbet ice cream smells good too, right? And it's such a great scent. Video smell a vision or something. What do you call it? Smell of it? I don't know. But I wish they had that so you could smell this. Other items. This is like an, a random item. I don't know. It's not really food, but it is at the same time. So these are the Icebreakers Duo, which is basically fruit on one side, cool on the other side. Um, and I got raspberry. And then if you open it, it has two sides, which is kind of cool because this one says to share up here and this one says not to share. I like to open the not to share side, if you know what I mean. Ow! Oh, it hurt. So you can try those if you want. I got those at King Supers for like $2.05. Just to let you know. Okay. The very last portion of this video is going to be my fashion section. Um, this includes just like a few things this time. So this shirt I have had since like last year, 7th grade. Um, so it's been like a year. And it just kind of looks like this if you can see the whole thing it looks like this it's very flowy and colorful like spring and summer and it's really a uh, she sheer kind of fabric I almost said sheen it's a very sheer kind of fabric you can see me through it and it's got a really nice pattern so it has like little circle type things and then it's got kind of like a snake type pattern as well as like a zebra type pattern with all the lines which I think is absolutely wonderful and then like it uh, cinches at the waist so like mid abdomen is where it cinches which is great because it gives kind of a nice 
flow to the top and then it cinches and then it's like a nice flow which I love in dresses as well which I think it's great and the very last thing that I'm going to show you today for my May 2013 favorites is my a swimsuit um, so I showed you my favorite swimsuit for last month and this is for this month if you have never heard of this brand it's the Fox brand it's kind of like a motocross racing brand I guess you could say um, and this is just a simple black one and then it has the gold it's gold right here and then on the inside of it it's gold as well and then it's got like gold shimmer um, which I think this is so cute. When you, and then the bottoms to go with these as well. Um, on the inside it's gold. And then this is the front right here. So on the front it's just like plain black and then you can see the gold. And then on the back of them um, is actually the fox for these. So it's on the front and the back so you can show off the kind, the brand on all sides. Um, which is really cute. So that is all of my favorites for May, but before I let you go, of course, I have to add a little bit more, right? Um, I'm going to show you, like, the hair that I'm wearing today in case you want a tutorial on how to do that. Or if you have any other video requests, be sure to leave that in the comments section below as well as any other nice comments you have for me. Um, and yes, I hope you guys have a great rest of your May. And... Yeah, so my hair, it's kind of like a French braid, and it goes all the way around the back, and then down this other side into like this kind of braid thing right here, and then I just kind of uh, separated the rest of the excess hair, and I made it into this separate kind of braid down the side. Um, which I just thought was super cute. Anyway, yeah, so other than that, I hope you guys liked this video. And I will talk to you guys soon. So, yeah, bye. That was really yellow on the camera. Mer, whatever, cherries? Mersh, mer, mer, Okay. Maraschino cherries or maraschino cherries, French nailish. But I do have it on my toenails. I just rather not show you my toes. Oh, yeah. Ugh. Can't open this thing. It's like flying everywhere. Put it on. It's just like I'm going swimming. Oh oh.